Well, after months of doing work in the Airstream with jackets and heaters, somebody turned on the oven in the Pacific Northwest and we are using a fan. Summer is here and the Airstream feels fine. We are in Clearwater tonight. I'm Allison Morrow. Hi, I'm Allison Morrow. I'm Allison Morrow. And I've gone to a lot of places. On St. Pete Beach, Allison Morrow. And now with my former Force Recon Marine husband, I'm going off grid ish. Shaka, are you live? She either lays there and does nothing in the winter and tries to stay warm, or now that it's becoming warm in here, she just finds the spot right in the middle of everything and lays down. Her productivity has, uh, well, I would say it's severely diminished, but it's been pretty much non-existent. Hey, Shaka, got to put on your safety eyewear. Love, 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 love our Chaka. Chaka, all this hard work will pay off one of these days. It's been a long time no see. Uh, been on the road doing a lot of training, a lot of teaching. After months of cold winter weather and also several months of us trying to do work, piecemeal work on the Airstream, we finally had a little opportunity this weekend to uh, work on one of the bigger projects that we have to tackle on this Airstream and that's getting this subfloor up. Now we had a lot of other things that we needed to get done before we could get to this point and so understanding the way the weather was this isn't something that we really wanted to be working on when it was crappy out so I would rather take the heat any day. Uh, we do have the luxury of having a little bit of shade here so that's helpful. Uh, but it's going to be a lot easier for us to work when the temperature is more reasonable. This isn't actually too hot over here, but if you go towards the front of the Airstream where there's actual sunlight hitting it, uh, this aluminum gets pretty hot. So by the end of this summer, going into the fall, that we've got this thing insulated in preparation for the colder months so that if we still have to do work on the interior, at least it's going to be warm inside. But before we can even get to any of that, we got to do wiring first and plumbing, and before we can do wiring and plumbing, we got to get this floor situation sorted out, and we also need to get the, yeah, we need to get the uh, front end sorted out where we have some panels that need to be replaced. So it's kind of a, a like an algorithm. There's this specific order that we've got to do all these things in so that we don't spin our wheels. So that means today we're going to start pulling up the floor. The big thing about this floor that makes it a little bit more difficult than probably other people who have refurbished Airstreams is this one's already been chopped up a little bit. So it's hard for me to A, find these little pieces, these little screws. I'm going to have to keep my eye out for them when it comes time for me to use the circular saw. Ideally, what would be nice to do is to just run around the perimeter with the circular saw and then have all the screws up so that we can lift the pieces out. But with the hack job that took place in fixing the floor, uh, we therefore, uh, we're going to have to be doing a little bounce around. Plus the other thing is you'll see here, and you can already see where the subfloor is like separated away from these screws, which I find troubling because you can even see where this cracked here. So I'm just curious as to what we're going to find on this thing. But even if you look on this, like I'm going to try to back this out and it's just, it's rusted solid. So we may be cutting some of these screws out. I don't know. You have a screw loose. Get it? Yeah. I make jokes like that, proverbial dad jokes. You say they're not funny, but then you make jokes like that, and you're like, <laughs> get it? <laughs> Screw loose? <laughs> Don't your ears hurt? No. Dude, 
We need earplugs. That's loud. It's not loud. That is loud. It's not loud to me. May not be loud for Afghanistan, but it's loud for here. So the issue here is that whoever redid this floor covered up the tops of the screws so you can't unscrew the floor. So it's got this plaster, like see this stuff here? Plaster that holds the floor together, I guess, but it's making it very hard to unscrew the floor. So we're having to cut through a lot of material. It's almost like stuff you would put down prepping for tile or something like that. But either way, it's like real gritty. And I could see my blade sparking as it's going through it, which is dulling my blade. So that sucks. <laughs> and this is gonna be the hardest end, we believe. As we move down the airstream, it should get easier. I don't know what it is, but it's hard. And you can't get to the screw heads. Does that sound like I know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, super smart. This is the cable for the shore power to be able to hook up the Airstream to external like power supply. So it has exposure r right outside. In fact, we could go outside in a minute and I'll show you, but it's pretty obvious that they, they, the parts that they replaced were the parts that were rotted. So that means that they had w water issues and all that good stuff. But the cool thing to see is, see this frame rail right here? It's a square tube which is nice because a lot, there, there was a time where they made a lot of it with like C-channel. So the fact that this is square tube, I like that. Um, the other thing is there's like hardly any surface rust on it at all. So my ideas of, you know, soda blast in it and putting fresh good paint on the trailer I think that's gonna work out really well because it, it'll, it'll push the longevity out. If this is indicative of the rest of the trailer, which hopefully it is, hopefully I'm not jinxing myself, but if it's like that for the rest of the frame and the rest of the trailer, even in these parts where there was clear, obvious water damage and it's not like rusted through, and we don't have to do like fabrication, metal fabrication work, that's gonna be a good thing. That's going to be a really good thing. Our time that we spend is going to be more on the subfloor and the fixing the issues with the uh, exterior panels and not in significant frame repair. If we would have had to do significant frame repair, that would have been, uh, that will be a, a, a delay. So hopefully, I mean, we've only just cut into like maybe like 3% of what the floor is left remaining, but- <clears throat> It's the worst 3%. This in my mind could be the worst 3%. The only, the only other areas I'm worried about is up towards the front where there was clear damage and rot up there. So all the stuff in the middle has been intact. So it, this should be where the worst areas are in these spots where the floor has been replaced. So, and if it looks like that, then the rest of the area where there's no damage should be okay. That chewed up. Yeah, it's from mice. Yeah. It's, it's practically brand new. So. Good sign. Good sign. I ripped out one of the screws that were threaded in there right here. I don't want to keep doing that, so. If anybody's ever had this happen to them before where you have your screw, especially like a Phillips head screw, which is this plus sign looking type of screw, and it strips out and then you can't get any grip on it. So they have this tool where you 
drill out a little bit, and then it has a grabber that you, when you screw it in, it actually grabs a hold of it and helps pull the screw out. The rest should be much easier. But the thing I'm really excited and happy about is the frame. If this, that's the only thing I'm hoping for is like the frame all the way through is good. If the frame's good all the way through, then we're in there like swimwear. I will be photoshopping a Speedo on you for this. Off like a prom dress. I'll put a prom dress on you. I don't believe you. Oh yeah, the, what is that, the Samantha? Like, Ta-da! Okay, she's here. Wow, look at that. It worked. Will well, it work to get you to go away? Let me just try it. Nope, still here. It was worth a shot. Anyway, beautiful day. Weather has definitely mm -hmm. turned here in the Pacific Northwest. We are gonna continue the rest of the work tomorrow morning, but I do feel like we've made some progress. Our main issue working on this Airstream is just we keep doing it in like projects of two to three hours <laughs> because, uh, well, our attention span. Also weather, whether it's cold or hot, and beer. Because it's always beer 30. It's always beer 30. But in all, uh, in all honesty though, I think, uh, well, a lot of the big moves we've made have been in eight and 10 hour segments of work. So the, the, the biggest thing is, you know, once you start cutting into a floor, you know, you start cutting stuff out, you're committed. Right. So I just wanted to make sure to take some time in the beginning to do it right. And the other big thing is, is we started at the back of the trailer because that's where the most extensive work had already been done. And like we were saying in other parts of the video, I feel pretty good about the fact that the frame is looks so far to be in really good shape. So, um, you know, aside from the areas that we could see even up here where if this is the worst, then we're out. We're doing pretty good. That was hot. That was really hot. Ow. We work really hard. We have other jobs that we have to do. I've traveled all over the place. She's trying to save the environment one, uh, one story at a time, giving a voice for the voiceless. And trying to do that on top of doing something neither one of us had really done before, and that's renovating a RV. Yeah, it's daunting, but yep. it's I think it's worth it. So, yeah. Anyways. But the pioneer spirit is within us and within you because you're still watching. All right. Well, the next video you see, I don't know what it will be, but I'm sure it will be exciting. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. Oh, and I'm Allison again. Allison, right here. Who are you? I don't know, but I think we should snap out. <laughs>